Hello everyone, it's Joey again. I just put out a video. Uh, through the comments, I realized it has no sounds. Uh, <laughs> I didn't really watch the video before I put it up there. Uh, one of since I've been reorganizing all my room and I finally got myself a computer desk, got all my shit set up for my computer so I can play League all the time. Uh, one of the things I bought for myself was a really nice headset. Uh, what turns out when I was recording the video, I didn't realize it, but I had the microphone for the headset plugged in, and the headset was, like, all the way on the couch over there. So, as I was recording the video, the microphone's picking up the noise over there, but there's really nothing to record. So, really sorry about that. Uh, I don't feel like deleting the video, because it's not, it's whatever. If you want to watch it, it's got no sound, but who gives a shit? Um... Just a shout out to Brian Lee. He uh, wanted me to do a unboxing of Eureka 7 Disc 11. Uh, I'm going to leave the video up there because it's an actual opening of the of it brand new. Because I can't I can't open it again because I just I opened it for the video. Turns out there's no sound, so whatever. But unfortunately, or fortunately for you, there is nothing that comes with Disc 11 for Eureka 7. Did I say Disc 11? Yeah, yeah. Disc 11, disc 11 of Eureka 7, the 7 threw me off. I thought I said Disc 11. Okay. So, unfortunately, nothing comes with it. I don't... Maybe you, like, got it online, and you were worried that you maybe not have got a piece of it. So, no worries. There's nothing in there. It's just the disc. Uh, sorry about the other video. Uh, you messed up sometimes. So, hopefully, you guys can forgive me, because it's kind of sucks, but whatever. Um... Next time I'll make sure not to plug in my microphone. So we'll use the microphone on my webcam, but not the microphone on my headset. So thanks for letting me know, guys. And sorry about the mess up. And yeah, uh, new information. Uh, I'll be making another video maybe hopefully about a week. I have a shipment from Amazon coming, which is the rest of the Eureka 7 disc. So I'll do a box of that. I really want to do a review of the Haruhi all of Haruhi that I watched, so that's back to that, and I have a, I think, I've never used, I think it's Mandarake, Mandarake.com, I just tried to use them for the first time, and I think I ordered it right, but I'm not sure, because it said it's sending me a message in like three days to confirm the purchase, so I don't know if I ordered it yet, or if they're just seeing if the items are in stock, but regardless, whenever that happens, uh, I will do the unboxing for the figures I ordered off Mandarake. Uh, what else was there? Oh, I got some really cool... Damn it. Uh, I'll show them off right now. Oh my gosh. Like... Right. Sorry, I was checking my phone. Alright. Got this one. So... Basically, I had, I don't know if you can hear me right now, but I had a bunch of figures that I ordered off of Hobby Link Japan come in the mail, and I think there was three, if I recall correctly. Um, yeah, just three. Um, all the figures are from Fate Zero, because uh, that is now my favorite anime of all time. Well, well, it's my favorite anime of all time, but the Fate series in general is my favorite series that has ever come from Japan. And I really love Type Moon, and yeah, I guess I'm a kind of a Type Moon fanboy now. What can you do? But I've only seen the Fate series for the most part. I bought Tsukihime, but I haven't watched yet because I've heard really bad. And by really bad, I mean really, really bad things about it. So I haven't really wanted to watch yet because I hold Type Moon at such like a high pedestal right now. After watching Fate Zero, Fate Stay Night, and Garden of Sinners. I know that Fate Stay Night, people say, is not a good anime, but I will defend that to death, and I will make a video on why it is a very good anime, and it really got me into the series in general. So, those three series really got me attached to the Type Moon franchise. I also watched Carnival Phantasm on YouTube, which was the subtitles, subtitled version of it, and I thought it was hilarious, even though I didn't understand the Tsukihime part, since I haven't been exposed to the series at all. Uh, it was really an entertaining watch, and I. That's why I really haven't watched Tsukihime yet, because I don't want to see something that is part of the Type Moon franchise and not like it, because it'd make me really sad. So I'm, 
I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet, but I bought it. But back to the figures. First figure I got is, I think it's the hardest one to find. It's either him or Ryder. I got the uh, Archer figure or, well, I'm not going to give his real name because I don't want to spoil anything for people who haven't seen Fate Zero or Fate Zero, but this is Archer. And it's kind of a badass. And his outfit looks really cool. Uh, I thought it was really weird, but his little like belt thing is like a piece that comes off. I just have to. It's like super easy to attach, but that was an interesting uh part. And the sword you had to build yourself, and it was easy as fuck. But whatever. and oddly enough, my favorite figure so far that I've gotten, and one of my favorite uh characters from Fate Zero, is Caster. I was really really excited to get this figure. I was hoping to get this one with the saber figure that came out like as the set, but uh. Unfortunately, the Saber figure sold out when I uh, was trying to purchase these, but luckily I could get Caster. Uh, the reason I like Caster so much is because he's such like a stark contrast to the Caster. Well, not Caster, but like to the other servants. He's just, he's really out there. But the reason he's so insane, which I'm not going to spoil anything because you have to watch the series, but... The thing I really liked about Caster is that I actually knew a lot about what his uh, legendary hero, or he's not a hero, but his character in history, because I'm very familiar with his character through uh, a band I listened to who did an actual uh, compilation album of his character. I looked up a bunch of information on him, and I'm a big, like, uh, like I like looking up stuff about, like, religious uh, figures, so, like, I knew a lot of, I don't want to spoil anything. I knew who he was. In history, and it really, I was able to latch onto that because I thought it was really awesome. And they put in so many little details that only people that would know his character would pick up on. So I was, I just thought that was awesome. And he's one of my favorite characters. And then the last figure I got, which is, in my opinion, the uh, most lackluster figure out of all of them, because I was expecting some red because it's kind of plain. But nonetheless, it's still a cool figure, and it is a uh, Berserker, Berserker from Fate Zero. These are all from Fate Zero, by the way, if you haven't seen it. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's a sword. I really wish they would have included a little more red. Honestly, if I really cared that much, I might paint a little bit of red in it, but I, it's not that big a deal. Uh, not trying to be sexist, but I'm, I was really trying to get a lot of male character figures, because I have a lot of female-oriented figurines. The only, the only, uh, anime character that was a guy figurine I had before this was Koyomi Araragi from Baki Monogatari and Nisa Monogatari, or the whole Monogatari series, but those are the only two I've watched so far. But it was nice to pick up some uh, male figurines, because every time people come up and they're like, oh, you have a bunch of girl dolls, and it's kind of odd, and I'm like, figures, figures. And I'm not just, I'm not a pervert, I'm not just collecting figures just to look at people's, uh, people's skirts and shit. I just like the characters, so when I watch a series and I really like it, I want to have a figurine from the series, because I really like it. And that's why my Fate, my Fate Stay Night Saber figure is my pride and joy, which is there, if you can see it, because it's also bigger than all the other figures. Oh, in the other video, I said that I really want to do a, uh, a video that shows off my entire anime collection, including anime, manga, and my figurines. That's, that's three things. I, I can count. Don't worry, guys. Um, show off my room in general, because it has a lot of anime-oriented things. I have a huge video game collection that I haven't really shown anyone. I have some really cool items from that. Uh, my anime, video games, manga, figures, other shit. Um, so yeah, I want to do something with that. Uh, I feel like I'm forgetting something that I mentioned in the other video, but can't remember especially considering that you can't hear anything in the other video, so there's really no point in talking about it. Um, oh, I am, I, for my uh, intro to educational technology class, it doesn't matter, but my, one of my college classes, I've had to relearn how to use Movie Maker, so I am that much closer to finally making my first actual anime video review, which I'm really excited to make. Uh, before I do that, I want to get some form of a video capture card or some way to record my computer and then edit videos because I want to basically just play one of the animes on my computer, record it over, 
and then use those clips to make the anime review. And I, it sounds like a lot of work, but I really want to do it because that's whenever I watch an anime review online, those are always the ones that I really like to watch that have actual clips. Then they flip back, like I'd show a clip of Fate Night or Fate Zero or whatever, and, and then it jump back to me and be like, well, I liked this part because blah, 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 and then it jumps back to that, and then you can see all the animation and blah, blah, blah. I'm rambling, but that's that's the kind of thing I really want to make because I, I appreciate when someone puts the amount of time into making a video like that. And I really want to have one for myself, and I want to prove that I can do something as good as that. And I know I can, because I've, I've worked with computers for a long time. I've been in my uh, TV production for my high school class. I've done a lot with Movie Maker and Windows. Uh, no, Windows Movie Maker, I've done a lot with uh, Sony Vegas, all that, all that good stuff. But I just, I need to reteach myself, because I haven't used it in maybe like two years but i'm i'm very i'm getting there so just give me a little time guys and sorry about taking all this time sorry about the other video uh apologize for that hopefully this video makes up for it and brian league sorry about the eureka 7 stuff but now you got to see at least you know that i opened it and didn't take anything out of it first so good stuff if anyone else has any questions that they want to send me always send them to me because i always 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 reply to anything and everything that you guys send me because i really appreciate it like, if i'm making the time and effort to make these videos and you're making the time and effort to watch them and comment to me i definitely have a right as a youtube person to reply to you for taking an interest in a hobby that I like to do now and I I really appreciate making these videos I'm glad that you guys enjoy them that I enjoy making them myself so it's not like it's a burden for me I just I need to get into a good schedule to make them constantly because I just don't have as much time as I'd like to but I really appreciate you guys and just let me know what you think and I'll be sure to make another video sometime this week and it will have sound so good stuff on that this is a uh, Joey Sosa from Joey Sosa, my page. I'm thinking about renaming it soon, but I don't really understand how to do that, so we'll figure it out. Uh, just stay tuned, and I'm going to make stuff new. So uh, it's Joey, signing off.